Hi, I'm Chef Tina Martini. You know the medicine chef. It's time for another episode of Martini Time, the cooking show where you and I are going to do more together than cook. Uh, today we've got a really spectacular Sunday dinner type menu. Everybody loves ribs, so we're going to do some really beautiful red wine braised ribs. Braising is my personal favorite as far as the seven ways to cook food. Did you know that, chefs? There's only seven ways to prepare food. Braising being one of them, low and slow in some beautiful liquid, and we're gonna do our ribs in red wine. But since it's martini time, I think we should drink first. So let's come over here and look at our sangratini. Just a little bit of a kicked up sangria. Now everybody knows the benefits of red wine, but here's something new on the research front. Resveratrol in red wine, and I'm sure you've heard of that by now. The resveratrol not only increases longevity, strengthens the vascular system inside the heart, it also burns body fat without exercise. What's not to love about that? So I've got a big pitcher just for me and I've got a little glass for you. No, I'm just kidding. You can make a big pitcher at home for all your friends. Now what I've done is cut up grapefruit, oranges, lemons, pears, apples, cherries, whatever fruit you like, and just pack it all in the pitcher. And then we're just gonna add our red wine. Now I like it a little more kicked up as I mentioned earlier. You think I need a bigger bottle of vodka, chefs? Now we've got the kettle one, which is one of my personal favorites and we've got the citron flavor. So it's gonna pick up the flavors of our garnishes. So you just do an ounce or so, and we can mix it right in the martini glass if you'd like. We can do an ounce of the sweet and sour, a quarter ounce of triple sec. Yummy, again, a little bit of a citrus flavor. Fill a little bit of wine, and then how much vodka do we want, chefs? We wanna give it a little bit of a kick? Let's do an ounce. All right, woo! That was a generous ounce, wasn't it? There we go, beautiful in the glass. Let's take a sip. Mm. I feel myself getting thinner already. Let's cook, come on. All right, so I've got my mirepoix in here and every culture has a type of mirepoix. Now ours here and in France, it's carrots, onions, celery. Just the basic foundation of flavors for our cuisine. Now people think celery doesn't really have that much benefit to it, but let me tell you, Harvard School of Medicine is all over the celery right now. There's something in it called a pigeonin. A pigeonin looks like it may just be the best hope on the front for the cure of ovarian cancer. So we really wanna get cilantro and lots of those leafy herbs. The celery leaves are great for flavor, so add that into your food and get a big dose of that a pigeon in. All right, so we've got this softening with the onions. I added a little bit of leeks. Leeks are great. The allium compounds contain such trauma-reducing benefits in the body, so much so that NASA gives quercetin and allium compounds, both found in onions, garlic, and apples, to the astronauts so that it helps reduce the trauma that they experience in space. All right, so I'm gonna move my mirepoix over and I'm gonna brown my bones so that we make some really nice crispy bits. Now, I'm, I'm just afraid that the cow is getting a really bad rap. We really need to know that beef has a lot of good benefits. As a matter of fact, beef is really high in something called superoxide dimutase. Every time you eat food that has the zinc in it, the essential mineral, your body naturally, without any help from you, produces superoxide dimutase, one of the most powerful antioxidants we know of. Now, you're gonna go wash your hands, but I'm not gonna break to wash my hands right now, but chefs, you're gonna wash your hands after handling the meat. Now, we're just gonna put a little bit of a brown on it, searing and sealing those beautiful juices in. It's also gonna add that crispy, nice little coating on the outside. Everybody loves those crispy little bits. So we're browning our bones, and again, just to start the sear process, just to start the cooking process, let's go ahead and season that, and I'll throw in a bay leaf, and we'll throw in some honey, just a little sweetness, and again, working with sweet and savory dishes, we want a good balance. So it's important to have salt and it's important to have a little bit of sweet. I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire and that's gonna give us just a little bit more salt. Tomato paste, 
Really great news here, chefs. This is the highest concentration of something called lycopene. Now, lycopene, ladies, for you, it gives us good heart health. It reduces sun damage by as much as 40%. That's substantial. Gentlemen, this looks like it just may be the cure for prostate cancer. Yeah, that's right. I said the P word on TV. But guys, we got to protect you and take care of you. And prostate cancer is a big killer in our country. So this is one of the answers, gentlemen. Two tablespoons of tomato paste every day. And that's going to give you a lot of that lycopene to protect you and keep you nice and strong. Wrong. All right, let's go ahead and deglaze the pan. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of wine. You could do that with your veal stock or beef stock if you wanted. But hey, let's use just a little bit more of that delicious red wine and get some more of that resveratrol. Now, something great to serve your ribs over, something different, a little bit more special than mashed potato would be a parsnip. Now, parsnips, really great medicine here. And what we're looking at is the... Uh, potential to clear the pancreatic bile duct, lots of people are passing from pancreatic cancer. So we can avoid that by adding things like parsnips into our diet that keep the bile ducts clear and really keep us safe from bacteria. All right, so our ribs are working over here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my veal stock. Now you can use beef stock on this if you want. You don't have to use veal if you don't like it. All right, I'm just going to give that a little swirl. We're going to reduce that by half. Now, what is reduction, chefs? That's just a fancy technique word, and all it means is you're going to cook it over time and heat and reduce that liquid by half. That's going to intensify the flavor, but here's another tasty tip for you. Please don't salt your liquid until you're done reducing. If you've salted it too soon and you reduce the liquid, you're going to have an over-salted mess that you're not going to be able to use. So please make sure that you're not over-salting before you reduce and that's going to give you a better result. All right, let's go ahead and throw our lid on. We're going to turn our fire off and this whole thing goes into the oven for two hours. Again, braising is going to break down all that connective tissue and it's just going to be buttery and delicious. Our parsnips over here, we're going to boil them. And anytime you're doing cauliflower or parsnips, anything you want to keep white, you're going to add just a little bit of white vinegar to the water. Cook that up. It keeps it from oxidizing. And then you're going to have a really beautiful parsnip puree like we have here. Again, just something a little more special than mashed potato. Now, if your family isn't really keen on parsnips or they're not familiar, you may want to do some potatoes and mix the parsnips in. That way we're sneaking the medicine in and we're giving the family something that they really love. All right, so that wraps it up over here with our ribs, our parsnip puree. Remember again, this looks like the hope for pancreatic cancer. How could something this decadent looking this rich looking have so much medicine. Well, if you've been paying attention, chefs, you see that this whole dish is nothing but delicious medicine. Well, that wraps it up for today. I'm gonna grab my sangratini. I sure appreciate you watching. Remember, check us out on Facebook for all the recipes you've seen, all your phytonutrition information. Post your questions on our wall and I'll get back to you right away. I'm Chef Tina Martini, here's to your health.